Hi guys, how are you doing? My name is Ben, I'm that bearded guy, and this week I'm reviewing this, the Lanzarol 10-inch graphic drawing tablet. So if you're anything like me and you tend to spend a lot of time working with photographic imagery, manipulation using Photoshop, or you're into sketching on your computer using programs such as Coral Draw, then you might have found a use case for something like this, with a general frustration of using a mouse trackpad or a physical hand mouse. So. I'm reviewing this because I do it a lot. I use Photoshop more than I do uh, Lightroom, and so I want a bit more precision, a bit more control, a bit more comfort whilst I'm using the program, which is why I'm looking at this. So let's have a quick product overview. The tablet itself then, as you can see here, it's got this very large surface area which is the working area that you see inside the, uh, the white markings here. Now just on the left hand side you have these eight customizable buttons which I'll show you shortly in the software exactly how you customize it. That's your track area and you also get included with it is that stylus. Now the stylus itself has a couple of buttons as well so you can mirror the commands that you'll find on a usual mouse but in the hands of a stylus. Now you're looking at it you'd think that this was battery operated but it's not. It's a completely alien concept to me. I have no idea how this works. It doesn't come apart. It tells you specifically in the instructions not to try and take it apart. So I'm confused. It seems to work. It works very well but using witchcraft. So you also get this included, which is the stylus holder. So the stylus just sits nicely in there when you're not using it, but also doubles as nib storage. So if I just open that up, there's a number of nibs there. They all appear identical, same weight, same contours, exactly the same. So uh, I have no idea how quickly I'd go through a nib, um, but they're spare ones. I guess it's just in case you lose them. Now the tablet is powered by a micro USB cable, this is the micro USB cable you get. So one end, full size uh, USB mail to plug into your laptop or your computer and, uh, and micro USB on the other end. And it's quite a lengthy cable to be honest, uh, it stretches about that size, it's about a metre, about a metre. So over to the computer then, and in order to install the device, first of all we need to visit the website, and this is all contained within the accompanying instructions, and just need to scroll all the way down to download, give that a click, and then find the relevant file to download. It's around about 12 megabytes in a zip file, so that's relatively quick to download. Once the software starts then, you just load up and you can start customising some of the features of the stylus, having a look at some of those uh, those buttons on the side, and then we can have a look at things like the pressure sensitivity just by pushing down the stylus onto the pad. There's a few other options which you can tailor the size of the working area of the pad to suit your screen. And then we can also customise the buttons, those eight customisable buttons. We can just uh, select the menu. They do come with defaults already set, but in order to set the customisable features, what we need to do is nip down there, give that a click, and then we can input our own command. So for example, if I want, I don't know, Control and Alt, or if I want to do Control and Z, then just have to click them on the keyboard and then click OK, but I'm just going to cancel that because I want to keep it as default. So some of the software that's intrinsically installed in the computer, let's start off by having a look at the sticky notes. This gives you the feature that where you can simply handwrite a sticky note and then just like the yellow post-it notes that you have, you can just scribble a little note there. So make a sticky note. Next up going into the sketch program where I can again I can use the pen tool to just use my handwriting or I can select the pencil tool and do a little sketch although I'm terrible at sketching so I'm just writing. But showing you the, the sensitivity, I'll just scribble here, push down a bit harder and then you can see it gets darker as we scribble across and see with a pen also it gets thin and then starts the more pressure I put the harder it gets. 
I've also got the option to do a screen write. It's, it pretty much just takes a screen print of your device, that's me there, and, uh, and that gives you the option to write on your desktop. So here I've moved now into Photoshop and I'm using the stylus. I'm just going to use the lasso tool just to highlight this collar on my dog and show you just how precise I can be. By comparison to a mouse, a trackpad, I wouldn't be able to achieve this. I've never used the lasso tool before um, using this stylus. So it's really, there we go, I've just met it. I couldn't do that before. So select a mask and then if I just zoom into that area then I can start to uh, to select my area and I'm just gonna use some strokes there. So it feels a lot more natural, a lot cleaner, a lot more precise than just using a simple mouse and trackpad. So if I do end up making a mistake, then it's simply a case I can just click one of the customizable buttons, change that and that's it, get rid of that and then just carry on. And you can use any tools in Photoshop using the stylus. So I'm just using the clone stamp here to take away this collar ring there and select my area and make that adjustment. So overall then, I'm really happy with the device and it makes life so much easier, so much more enjoyable and artistic when using some of these programs. And this is now gonna feature on my desk for daily use. So if you've enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel to see more tech reviews coming up in the very near future. I've also posted a link to the product in the description below if you wanna go and check it out for yourself. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.